Good morning, guys. You join us today at Estoril Track in Lisbon, Portugal. Very, very exciting. Why are we here? We are here for the Corsa Cliente at XX program, which is done by Ferrari. We are here, uh, obviously, because Lawrence has his FXXK Evo, um, which the uh, factory holds on to, and as part of the XX program, they ship it to different tracks around the or around the world, uh, and you partake in a very, very special coached sessions over a course of a two-day period. This is our second XX program event. We're super, super excited. Obviously, the heritage of the Estoril track is uh, well known worldwide, and again. How could you not be excited when it comes to Ferrari? In terms of hospitality and the events they put on, Ferrari does it like no other manufacturer. Behind me, I have a couple of the street cars. The 296s, the Pura Sangue, and also the Daytona SP3. It's my first time seeing the Daytona in real life, and I must admit, I was completely wrong, and I actually really love it in person. It's fantastic. Would I change it? Throw some black wheels on. So yeah, stay tuned guys, it's going to be a very, very exciting day and we're going to show you the whole program from the driver uh, briefing all the way through to the FXXKs, the 599XXs and also something that I'm personally very excited about is seeing the F1 Cliente, which is the X F1 racing cars which are now purchased by obviously Ferrari customers and they're going to be lapping the track as well. It's a really, really unbelievable experience and I really hope you're going to enjoy this video. This is very long corner, so we need to really put the gas in very progression. This one, we can go in and we make like a V. From inside you go a little bit outside and you go in again. And we use all the track. You can use uh, on top the curbs, no problem. Four gear, fifth gear. Keep the left, this is a flat out. You need to cross here on top and let the car go into the left. We use all the track. And depends how fast we are. This is normally is a three or four. Depends. We start in third gear when we keep confidence. We use a four. Here we break close to 100. We can stay on the curbs back to three. Here we use second gear. It's a very very slow chicane. And this is the last corner. is very long. You can see it's a really really long corner. We start from inside. And when we are inside, we can move a little bit on the left, not too much. And just at the end, we are going to close the line. And from here, it's flat out, fifth, sixth, and we go. Normally, the procedure is, uh, I do one demo with you, just yep. two laps, yep, yep. just to, to show you everything. Uh -huh. And after that, you can start to drive. Hi, everyone. I'm Lawrence. This is my LaFerrari FXXK Evo. I uh, used to be number 54, this was the one on Top Gear, I've had it for a couple of years now. This is only the third time I've driven it, the second XX event. There's nothing like a Ferrari event, this is, uh, this is, this is motorsport heaven, I'm very lucky.
Alright guys, so we thought whilst everyone's on a lunch break between uh, sessions, we'd talk about some of the streetcars. Obviously, two of the latest additions from Ferrari, or two of the latest models from Ferrari is the Pura Sangue, the non-SUV SUV, and the Daytona SP3, which, you see, which you'll see shortly. This one, but a Grigio alloy, more, much more usable daily spec with the carbon, uh, uh, carbon fenders. Actually looks really nice. In person, I understand initially, uh, oh, I was not a fan when it first came out, obviously controversial design, but in person, really, really nice car. There's two coming to the collection, so watch out for those. One is going to be in a classy vintage spec, so I think it's like a champagne uh, exterior with the heritage brown leather interior. And the other one, we are yet to decide, but hopefully, being the crazy version, the crazy spec of the two, there'll be some body kits coming out from 1016 or Mansuri or somewhere along those lines. Moving on to the Daytona, the SP3. My actual first time seeing one in yellow. Uh, I must admit again, when that first was, uh, it was announced, I was not a fan or a lot of people, just like a lot of people, thought there was too many elements in the car going on. The hero Ferraris of time, of age, have been sim simple. Uh, with kind of one or two key features. This has a lot of key features. You've got obviously the uh, the rear end there by the lights, lots of grills, kind of throwback to the Testarossa. Then it's obviously based on uh, one of the old uh, race cars. In person though, looks fantastic. In yellow, even better. Neat black wheels, but I really, really like it. So does Lawrence. Lawrence has one of these coming, so you will see an SP3 in Perth very, very shortly. All right guys, so we're in the garages right now. Behind me is the FXXK, which is based off the La Ferrari. Over here, we also have the FXX, which is based off the Enzo. And then also the 599XX, which is again 599 GTB, GTO, which is then transformed into a full XX, which are these things. Absolute monsters. My favorite out of them all is the 599XX, mainly just because of the sound. Absolutely incredible. And then we're going to take you down to the F1 cars. three previous Scuderia Ferrari F1 cars used by either Rubens Barrichello or Kimi Raikkonen and uh, yeah they are now privately owned so on top of uh, if you want to send your XX car around the world to different racetracks at their events you can also send your F1 car obviously it's a little bit more technical these vehicles are very very intricate so they require a much larger team as you can see the Red Army but uh, yeah, once you hear these go around the track, oh my goodness, they are, yeah, for all those who are a certain era, age and era, which remembers F1 being, being F1 with the, with the bigger engines, V10s, V12s, um, yeah, this is a spectacular sight to see, and quite a good hobby. Three. 
Here, here is only four, don't put uh, five, mm -hmm. but you need to go higher with the reps. Yeah. The first breaking is good, the break points 200, yeah. but don't keep the same pressure. Harder, and you need to go really slowly off, because you can see, you go harder, mm. but you keep stable, yeah. and keep well. you are going to release it directly. No, okay. you see the guy, yeah. they drop very smooth, yeah. very slowly yeah. to take off. But when you relieve, you have bam, no. That's why, keep less power on the brake, less stronger, and try to modulate much more. Otherwise, the brake point is perfect. This is, a, is at the end of the, okay? The guy breaks a little bit more than you, but, the, yeah, but the, you know why? Because they, they make flat, they have a little bit more weight. If you here, you keep flat, you can see yeah, for sure you need to break back a bit more. Same, same point. Same, same point, point, but a little harder. bit harder. That's it. Okay. And uh, this one, if you just stay completely outside, can, yeah. can do flat. You, yeah. you can do. Okay. Don't scare. Yeah. But don't go in yeah, and yeah. take off. Okay. Because if you want to release, you need to release before you go in. Yeah, okay. If you release when you are in, mm. no, because yeah. the car can be moved. Yeah, yeah. So when you keep, you have to keep the car. Otherwise, before you go in, release and go again. Yeah, gotcha. today this is only my second time at one of these events so it was just a matter of getting used to the car again it's been six months since I've driven it uh, it was great uh, temperatures are good uh, getting used to the car I've now been allowed to use the blue Kurs aka NOS button uh, which is giving me a lot more speed a lot more lap time I feel like fast and furious coming out of the corners pressing the button um, so yeah I'm starting to catch up with uh, you know some of the guys that keep overtaking me earlier on today before I was allowed to use NOS now I got NOS so we're in business uh, and I took uh, Aaron uh, around uh, for a few laps uh, so yeah great day so there you have it guys that is a full day of the XX program with us at Estoril in Portugal 
morning session, afternoon session, showed you some street cars. Uh, behind me is the traditional photo of every XX program slash weekend, the driver's photo. Very, very cool. One day, hope to be on there myself, but you never know. Such an amazing, uh, such an amazing day. Ferrari, no one puts on a day like Ferrari does.